Hi guys, how are you doing? Thank you for joining me. Today I have a few things to show you, a bit of a new age haul, a bit of a tarot haul and a new age book haul. Um, I got several books and the other day I got one more tarot deck and honestly this is going to be my last one for a while, I swore to myself because I've been going a little bit crazy lately. But I saw this, I wanted this deck like forever, it's been on my list forever and I saw it at a store when I was getting a couple of the books I'm going to show you. I saw this deck there and you know it's like I said I've been wanting it forever and there it was just like sitting there like looking at me so what could I do so um, I picked it up it is still sealed I'm gonna unbox it I'm sure many of you have seen this this is an old you know this is this deck has been around for a long time the housewives tarot um actually I think I heard somewhere that it may be going out of print so I lucked out actually finding it if that's true um so yeah I managed to swing a copy before it uh went out of print if that's the case but um, anyway, as I said, stay tuned for the end of the video because I'm going to do an unboxing and I'm sure many of you know the cards, but I will show you anyway in case you haven't seen them. So let me show you the books I got. I uh, went to one of my favorite used bookstores and um, I found this. Ever since I got that Sacred Sites Oracle, um, which is just absolutely mind-blowingly amazing, I've been really interested in finding out more about like these the ancient sites and kind of the rituals and and the uh, the feasts and you know all the kind of stuff that you know went on you know back then when the sites were you know in their heyday. So this book really interested me. It's called The Dance of Time: The Origins of the Calendar, and um, it was originally seventeen ninety five, and I got it for four ninety nine. Yeah, four ninety nine. And um, it's really cool. It says it's uh, subtitled A Miscellany of History and Myth, Religion and Astronomy, Festivals and Feast Days. And the author is Michael Judge. Uh, it was published in 2004 and this is a reprint from 2012. But um, it's really, really cool. Um, it's got a few different parts and it breaks it up into seasons. Winter, um, winter spring, summer and autumn. And, you know, New Year's Day, um, Valentine's Day, um, let's see, April Fool's Day, the origins of that. Um, it just sounds really, really interesting. And I know I'm going to enjoy um, reading about this very, very fascinating subject for me, and I'm sure any of you as well. Um, I also found this um, called I Am That. Just the title alone and like the, you know, the in-your-faceness of the, of the title just grabbed me. And it's by, um, it's subtitled Talks with Sri Nisargadatta, pardon me, Maharaj, a, um, a guru in India. There he is on the back there. And this is a collection of his, uh, of his teachings. And uh, I was browsing through it and I really liked it. It's, it's mostly kind of like um, the format of the book is interview. It's like uh, the person questioning him and then him answering. So it's kind of like just a discourse through the whole thing. It's quite large, quite large. And it is um, including the appendixes. It goes to um, five, 550 pages. So um, I really, really love, um, you know, reading about, you know, reading the teachings of Indian gurus and, and it just, I just love reading this kind of stuff. So um, I'm sure this is going to be a great read. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, I also got this book called The Spirits Book by um, Alan Kardec. And it says on the back, a guide for ethical living and authority on discernment and um, inspiration and resolution for the questioning soul this was $6.99 at the used bookstore and it's it's really extensive like it's a, it's a thick book and uh, again this um, this book a lot of it is just interview like question and answer this guy is interviewing a famous um, a famous uh, I guess spiritualist and um, you know he just you know talks about all kinds of different subjects 
Um, let me see here. Uh, the beginning of things, spirit and matter, properties of matter, um, formation of the planets, the creation of living beings, um, the diversity of human races, the multitude of planets, uh, organic and inorganic beings, life and death, intelligence and instinct, um, the origin and nature of spirits. It's just exactly the kind of stuff that floats my boat. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to reading this. It looks, I was flipping through it and reading some of it and it's uh, really, really fascinating. Um, okay, so um, I was at Chapters, I guess, a little while ago and I was looking for a oh yeah okay so I was looking for some Dolores Cannon books I'll get to that in a minute and um, I was just in the sales section kind of browsing around and I saw this uh, the map of heaven by Dr. Eben Alexander and if you guys have not seen my NDE video on my other channel I will link that below but Dr. Eben Alexander is a, a neurosurgeon who had a near-death experience and he wrote about that experience in a book called Proof of Heaven. Well, this is a sequel to that called Map of Heaven. And this one is kind of like a compilation of um, people who wrote him and told him about their own uh, NDEs and, uh, you know, just other like scientific, you know, um, information and stuff like that that he puts in here as well. So, um, yeah, this is going to be a really interesting read. I'm looking forward to that. And it was only five bucks. So, you know, the price is right, too. Um, originally, this was, uh, I don't know if I can see the price here. I can't. Anyway, it's a trade paperback. You're looking at about, you know, 20 bucks probably, but I got it for five. So that was good. Okay. So as I was saying, um, I was looking for some books by Dolores Cannon. Dolores Cannon, if you have not heard of her, she is a very, was a very cool lady. She has passed. I think she passed quite recently. Uh, but anyway, she lived like up into her 80s and she was, I believe, the very first female hypnotist who did past life regression hypno hypnosis. She kind of pioneered a technique. Um, I forget what the name of the technique. It has a specific name to it. But she did all these past life regressions on people like starting back in the 40s or 50s when it was like unheard of. Nobody else was doing that kind of work. So she was a real groundbreaker. And she, as she got more and more into her um, hypnosis practice and um, worked with more and more clients, she started getting uh, more people talking about ETs and their experience with abductions and and she started also getting uh, you know people who were channeling things and stuff so anyway she's really cool if you haven't seen any of her um, she's all over YouTube if you if you uh, YouTube her do a YouTube search for Dolores Cannon you'll see a ton of her talks and I highly recommend checking them out because they are awesome my favorites are the ones where she talks about um, you know the for like how how the how life began on Earth and how it evolved and you know life in life in the afterlife you know what uh, what happens before you come to earth and everything she has done so much work on this and she dedicated her life to this she was a super super cool lady anyway she's also written a ton of books and one very um, famous series that she wrote was called a convoluted universe and I got the first two books I was looking for them at chapters but I couldn't find them and so I decided to go to Odyssey Books, which is um, one of my favorite uh, sort of new agey uh, spiritual metaphysical stores. And they have a ton. They have like everything there. So um, I found the first two. Well, actually, they had book five as well, but I just got the first two. So this is book one of the Convoluted Universe. And this these books are written, again, as mostly a series of interviews between like sessions between her and her clients and where they give her information about stuff and this one is focusing mostly on um, sort of intergalactic stuff and space and um, you know ETs and stuff like that it's really really fascinating I love it I started reading it and I just love it um, so anyway that's book one and then I also got book two convoluted universe book two it says this is a revised edition uh, but some of the things covered in this book are the universal language of symbols, splinters and facets of the soul, hidden underground cities, energy and creator beings, time portals for traveling between dimensions, life on other planets, characteristics of the new earth, and raising of vibrations and frequencies to shift into the new earth. 
So um, I'm really looking forward to this as well. I just, I can't get enough of her. I love her. She is amazing. She was a fabulous, fabulous scientist, teacher, seeker. I just, I loved Loris Cannon. Look her up on YouTube. I'm going to link my favorite talk by her below in the uh, description box. Okay, so let's get to unboxing the uh, Housewives Tarot, shall we? Okay, I've got my trusty kitchen knife. I love this deck. It, you know, one of the reasons I wanted it was because it's so cute and so fun. Like, it's it's got a very retro, you know, vibe to it. It's got that kind of 50s, 40s, 50s vibe. Uh, leave it to Beaver, you know, kind of thing. It, the the box looks like a recipe box, you know, with this, you know, housewife on there. And uh, it's just adorable. I just love this. So I can't wait to start using this. So anyway, oh, it, look, it even looks like, <laughs> it even looks like a recipe box in there. So let's see what's in here. Um, so we've got the housewife's tarot. There's the uh, cover card, I guess. Uh, oh, and it's, it's got a recipe card for the major arcana. So it split that for you. Let's see what it says on the back here. Oh, there's a recipe for icebox fortune cake for use with the Neapolitan spread. I guess it has a few different... Oh, there's a little book. Good. Okay. Show you that in a sec. Um, so anyway, that's very, very cool. And here are the major arcana. Here's what the backs of the cards look like. It's got that sort of tablecloth uh, look to it. And here's the card for the minor. Oh my God, that's so, that's so adorable. And the recipe on the back is um, divinated eggs, divinated eggs for use with the dinette spread. You'll never go back to deviled eggs once you've had them divined. Divinated? Divinated. <laughs> anyway, adorable. And here are the minor arcana, of course, the same backing. And then we have the instruction book, card for the instruction book. And the recipe on the back of this one says, Madame Marlena's Mystical Martini for use with the martini spread. Yay. That'll come in handy. And here's the little book. It's just a tiny little book. Very, very cute. Very adorbs. There's the lady vacuuming on the back. And, uh, oh, wow, I like that. It's very colorful. Little, you know, little descriptions, but very adequate, you know. Oh, and they've got a whole bunch of spreads in here, I see. Conducting a reading. Got a three-card spread there. There's a very large spread. Uh, this one looks like a seven card spread. The clothesline of life. What's this one called? The dinette. This one is the dinette spread right here. That's so cute. Uh, this is called the martini. Looks like a martini glass. Is that not cool? That's so cool. And so we get into the major arcana. So, okay, let's look at some of the cards. I've seen I've seen them many times um, from other readers doing readings on here with them. But um, now I have them myself. So, okay, so here's the fool. Love it. The magician. This guy looks like Pee Wee Herman. The empress. Recipes for success she's holding up. The Emperor. This guy looks like Chef Boyardee. <laughs> uh, the High Priestess. And she is a syrup bottle. She's like a Mrs. Butterworth's uh, syrup bottle. The Hierophant. Hierophant, however you pronounce that. Here's the lovers. Reminds me kind of the, of the Vanessa Tarot. It's got a very fun, whimsical, you know, just cute feel to it. You know, you don't have to take you don't have to take yourself so seriously. You know, Tarot doesn't have to be ultra serious. It can just be fun too, right? There's a strength card. Here's the hermit. Oh, that is so cute. Wheel of Fortune. Here is Justice. The hanged man. Oh my god. It's got the guy hanging on the clothesline beside her underwear there. How 
cute is that? Death. <laughs> Real salmonella. Temperance. That's awesome. That's awesome. Mixing everything together. The devil. Ooh, definitely chocolate cake is the devil, isn't it? <laughs> I love these cards. I just love them. Tower. Star. They're not laminated. They are matte. They have a matte feel to them. They're very smooth. And they're, they're I, th I would say these are smaller than your average tarot deck. These are more like playing cards. The moon. Here's the sun. Oh, I love it. It's two fried eggs for the sun's eyes. It's so creative. I love, you know, decks like this that are just creative and, and really put a different spin on, on the, um, you know, traditional cards and the world okay so let me go through some of the minor arcana and show you some of them okay guys i've gone through the minor arcana i've just pulled a few of them that really kind of stood out to me and i thought were particularly cute uh here's the two of cups here is three of cups and I love that because very often this card is thought of as like a, a baby card as, you know, uh, like a baby shower or, you know, an impending birth coming. Ace of Wands, got the feather duster there about to get going. Here's the Ten of Wands. Boy, is she swamped. Um, three of Swords. Four of Swords. I love this. It's so cool. She's got her spa day going on there. Knight of I love this Knight of Swords. That is so cool. I love it. The ultimate rebel. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. She's got her dishwasher. She's in domestic heaven there. And the Ten of Pentacles. Home sweet home, right? So anyways, I just love, love, love this deck. Who's the creator of this deck? Uh, where's the bottom of the box? Um, okay, hang on. What homemakers are saying about the housewife's tarot. It's got this on the side here. It says, Mimi Applebaum. Reading the tarot is so easy and it's a great way to entertain guests. Ruth Cooper. Like my gelatin molds, the tarot is full of strange and mysterious things. Janice Terwilliger. If it wasn't for the housewife's tarot, I'd still be cleaning that filthy toilet. <laughs> it's got like a coupon on the side here. Save. Save yourself from confusion, heartache, and guesswork when you purchase the Housewives Tarot. I don't know who this is by, who created this deck. There's no, um, no name on it. Oh, wow. Should have looked this up online before I came on here to do this. But anyway, um, oh, sorry. It is by Paul Keppel and Jude Buffum. Paul Keffel and Jude Buffum. Well, anyway, they, they're genius. I think this is amazing. I just love this deck, and I can't wait to work with this, and it's just going to be so much fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Hope you enjoyed seeing my, my book haul, and um, I will see you again soon. I'll see you on Monday for our weekly draw. Bye, guys. Have a great day.